Good morning, Freya. JJ Jr. Good morning, JJ. We had such a good night's sleep. What are we going to do? I already have a great idea. We can go for a walk around the city. Where are we going to go for a walk? Do you have any plans? I have an idea. So we have a neighbor with whom we recently talked. I think he has something to offer. Hi, Bill. How are you? Do you know what you can do with your family for the weekend? Hi, JJ. Yes, I have an idea. Do you see that guy over there? He has some kind of competition there where you can win a prize for your kid. I think it will be fun. Good. Thank you, Bill. Good luck to you. Come on, Freya. He gave us a great idea of what we can do now. That's the guy. Hmm. What does he have here? Pop the balloons. Hmm? And what are the rewards for this? Some kind of toys. Hey, kid. What do we need to do here to get a reward? Hi, guys. Do you want to get a toy? Then you need to pop all the balls that are hanging in the air. The weapon is in the chest. You will have one minute. I wish you good luck. Thanks for the information, man. For the sake of my child, I will get this toy prize. It's not for nothing that I was shooting when I was younger. This is going to be a piece of cake for me. Look how easy it is to do this. I don't need a minute to pop all the balloons. JJ, you're so accurate. When did you learn to shoot so well? Maybe you can teach us later too? We also want to come here and collect these awards. Maybe I'll teach you later. But now, hey man, I pop all the balloons. Where is my reward? I can choose which one we can take, right? JJ, wait, you're so good. It took you 30 seconds to do it. You're so cool. Guys, I can't believe you actually did it in 30 seconds. You've set a new record, and now you can choose any toy that lies here. Then I think my son will like this red car. Then take this red car. Thanks for taking part. Come again. I will have many more similar contests. All right, and now let's go to Bill and tell him about it. Hmm? Is that where Mikey and his family are? How strange they look. Hey, Mikey. Hi, how are you? Stop! What are you doing? Why are you hitting Bill? What did he do to you? Get away from him! Are you even listening to me? Are you completely dumb? What did you do? Why did you hit him? Has he done anything wrong? He just moved here. He's a neighbor friend just like you. What are you standing for? Stop, what are you doing? Why did you put dynamite here? Freya, be careful. Now it's all going to explode. Whoa. What's gotten into him? Did you put a chainsaw mask on your head and think you can do whatever you want? Why are you silent? Where are you going? Come here. JJ, I'm tired of you. Can you shut up? Can't you see I'm doing important things? Get out of here before I blow you up too. What are you talking about? What happened to you? Why are you so aggressive? Freya, do you know what could have happened to him? Because he would never have called Bill's house just because he wanted to. I hope Bill is okay. Let's go after him before he does something else stupid. Where are you going? This is my home now. Get out of my house and don't even think about coming here. Get out of here while I'm still kind. What happened to you in one day? I can't believe it. He really kicked us out of our house. We need to punish him somehow. But how will we do this? I do not know how we will do this. Let's better think about how to do it. We need to find some kind of weapon and buy it to punish him. Do you have such friends? That's exactly what, no. All my weapons that I have are at home and the house has now taken away by Mikey. Maybe we can ask that guy who organized that competition. Hi guys, I heard that you had a bad situation. Come with me, I'll show you something. Huh? Come in boldly. Do you see this poster? You can become Autobots. How do you like that? Do you like it? What kind of Autobots are they, hmm? That sounds cool. And they look the same, don't they, Freya? Is it free for us? No, guys. It will cost $64 weight. This is the minimum price for such an opportunity, especially since no one knows about it. We don't have that kind of money, Freya. We need to come up with something or earn money somewhere. Do you have any ideas? I also don't know where we can get that kind of money. Maybe we'll ask the neighbors, although we don't know anything except Bill. Nah, uh, wait a minute. What's about the... Mm -hmm. Freya, we're going to the bank. I think we can definitely make money there. We should have an account. Are you sure? In my opinion, this is a new bank in our village. It seems that these two guards will not let us in there. Huh? Why won't they let you through? Let me in there. Oh, uh. A few moments later... They decided to do the wrong thing. Then we will do the same to them. We have a weapon that can help us with this. Now we need to find a place from where it will be easier to shoot and so that we are not visible there. Do you think they won't see us in the tree? Although this is a very good place, the main thing is that they don't hear us. Exactly. 
So we're being quiet. Come here, stand next to me, and aim at the guard on the right. I'll knock out the guard on the left, okay? Okay, I get you. I'm waiting for the signal. All right, shoot! Hey, hey! Everything went smoothly. I knew it. And now let's go inside and get all the emeralds that are in these safes before help comes. Sheesh! There are a lot of emeralds here. And now we take as much as we can and get out of here as fast as possible. Freya, don't stay there. Well, I also took a couple of stacks of emeralds so that we definitely have enough to give to that seller. All right. Hi, man. Do you know why we came? We came to become Autobots with the whole family. So here's the money for it. How do we become them? Guys, I knew you'd be back. So come into this lab. And when you start falling asleep, when you wake up, you'll already be Autobots. All right. Sheesh. I didn't know it would be so fast. How cool is it to be an Autobot? Are we a family of robots now? Or are we cyborgs? No, we are Autobots now. Thank you, man. Hey, hey. JJ, I feel better than before. And we can also fly. It's so cool. This is the best thing that has happened to us. And now, the most important thing remains to be done. We need to get our house back and get Mikey and his family out of there because they are very arrogant. Huh? JJ, what are you doing here? Do you think if you become some kind of dumb robot, you can get your house back? And what can you do about it? Do you want to see it? I can do it! Whoa. And I can also do this! Mm hmm Huh? Oh. <gasps> what happened? Left alone? Then you better get out of here before I knock you out too! Really? Then look at this! Ah! <laughs> oh. And what now? You're alone too! Do you know what's gonna happen to you now? You'll be knocked out by me too! Get fireballs! Do you call these fair blooms? Are you completely dumb? Do you want to see real fireballs? Then look carefully at what I can do. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. What are you going to say to JJ now? Although you don't have to say anything. You're so small, I won't even hear what you're saying to me. You can try, but it will all be for nothing. Because you'll be knocked out by me too. Don't even think that you can beat me. Do you know what happens to overconfident, dumb people like you? Ho! Oh, you're not human anymore! You're a stupid little animal now. Even though you've become huge, your brain is still as small as before. That's why you can't beat me for sure. Especially since you can't fly. But I can. And you can't even imagine it. Even if you can fly, I can still shoot fireballs out of my mouth. So I'm gonna hit you anyway. You can dodge as much as you want, but I'll hit you and you'll definitely feel bad. You can never kill me with your little fireballs. Then it means only one thing, that I need to get bigger. Do you know how I can easily do this? Look at me. What now? Do you want to do something before you die? Before I die, you've just become a bit of a big dumb robot. And as I was huge, I will remain huge. I'll send you to metal recycling when I'm done with you. If you don't go to the sawmill sooner, didn't expect this? Serves you right. This is what you deserve. Now that I have avenged my family, I can safely fly around the world and explore it. A few moments later. <sighs> Mikey, good morning. It's a great day today. We've been waiting for so long. The store was supposed to have chocolate today. Let's hurry up and get it. Mm -hmm. There's this store. Hey, I think the salesman is weird. What? It says we don't have chocolate. How come? How come you don't have chocolate? Are you kidding me? No, you couldn't sell all the chocolate that fast. Do you know how long we've been waiting? You know your boogers. Let's go find out what's going on at the factory. See if they can get us some chocolate. Mm-hmm. I think we can figure out what's going on out there. I think if we can negotiate with them, they'll give us more chocolate. I want them to give us a chocolate fountain. I want to bathe in it for the rest of my life. I want to be the coolest person in the world. So when I'm old, my kids will inherit a chocolate fountain. It would be great if they would contact us at all, because they might not let us in at all. We're almost there. All we have to do is deal with them about the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to get there, JJ? That's a good question. I thought we could just walk in there or ask to open the door. Maybe we could climb over the fence. Maybe we can dig through the bottom, so to speak, under the ground. I think maybe if we call someone from there, they'll open the door for us. Hey, you dwarf, open the door for me, won't you? JJ, there's a better way. Hold the pickaxe. You can break the gates with it. Why didn't you say something about it? You could have said it before. I was wondering what you were going to do. And these dwarves are like that, too. You wanted to see me suffer. You could have helped me. Take it. <laughs> JJ, 
JJ. I don't think they liked your behavior. I won't let it go. You'll see, I'm no good at jokes. Not only did you not get the chocolate, we got our ass kicked. We'll go home, take the swords in the trunk and go to them again. Ask for chocolate the good way. If not, it'll be the bad way. Cool. Then I'll ask for something too. Like a chocolate fountain. Do you think they can do it? We need cars? Ours are still there at the factory? I think they've already taken them. We'll get revenge for the cars. And now we need to find a couple of cars. Hmm. I think there's one here, but we need to get them quietly. So you don't wake up their owners? Exactly. We don't want their owners to hear us stealing their cars, do we? So to give them a surprise, we keep it quiet. Oh. Now get in and let's go to the factory. Mm hmm. Uh, I hope they like our surprise, because if they hear it, it's gonna be bad. I don't think they heard, so the surprise was a success. Now let's surprise the dwarves who work in the factory. And how do we open this door? Don't worry, I've got a great way to open any door. Just stay away so you don't get stunned. Oh! Whoa! Come on, Mikey, let's show them what strength is. How are you doing, dwarves? We've got swords twice your size. You thought if you kicked us out, we wouldn't come back in? We'll make such a mess here that you'll remember us for a couple of years. Yeah! If you don't make me a chocolate fondue, I'm gonna come back here and eat all the chocolate you have. So you better have it. All right. We're done with these watchful dwarves. Now let's go inside and throw a party in our honor. Yeah. How's it going? You want a joke? I didn't get a chocolate fountain. Hey! How many wives Davarfs are gonna be here? We're gonna have to kill you all to get what we want. What's the matter? You still want to eat us? Then try this! I don't know what it is, but it's definitely some kind of weapon. I don't think you like the taste of it, because you're all gonna die for trying to eat us. JJ, there's still a lot of them in town. Let's go to them and show them we're not just made of dough. We're made of food that can't be eaten, so you'll die. But we'll kill them before they try to eat us. All right, I think we've got them all here. Mm -hmm. Shall we move on? I want to go to their manager to ask him about the chocolate fountain. What's up, monsters? We heard you cook all the people and then eat them, but we'll eat your chocolate. I think you're being negative. We're gonna go, Mikey, follow me. We need to get to the ship where we'll go onto the manager of this factory. I thought no one was here, but you guys are so inconspicuous. No matter how many of you are out of sight, no matter how many of you there are, I will find you and kill you. You shouldn't think I'm joking. I'm very serious. I'm gonna beat you first, and then I'm gonna beat all your friends. So you better get off my back. All right, monsters, are you ready? I'm coming for you. I'm sorry, but this is my job, so you're gonna have to die. It's not our job. It's more because they wanted to eat us first. It's our self-defense. So we kill them, not because we want to, but because they attacked us first. All right, get it. You're not gonna like it, but you're gonna lose today. I'm not even afraid that there are so many of you. I can take you alone, so watch out. But you're not alone. There's two of us, and even with two against a thousand, we kill them very easily because they're just weak. Ha, you're so weak. I thought it would be harder, but it's so much easier. I didn't even warm up after the monsters we killed. You're just Tarkins that crawl around and mug us. You don't think you have a chance against us? Because you don't. You're just pawns who can't do anything. You're pathetic copies of us. Ha, did you think you could do anything if you attacked a bunch of people? I feel sorry for you because you're just ants. I thought it would be hard because at first you almost ate us and now you can't even come near us. Even now, I've killed one army with one bullet and you're about to kill another. It's too cheating a weapon. <laughs> JJ, get on the wagon. I wanna see the manager. We've been fighting these dwarves for too long. Hmm, I thought it was going to be forever. But it's been so long and so boring. I didn't think it would take this long. Do you think while we were fighting them, they realized why we came here? This road is so long. I feel like it's going straight to hell. Why do I feel like we're going to be driving for hours? I know, but I feel sorry for whoever built it. It took so long to build this road. I'm surprised we're meeting these dwarves on the road. How come there's an ocean, but it's not made of chocolate? Everything's supposed to be edible. Why don't you ask the guy in charge here when we get to him? Make sure you remember that question. We'll ask him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who are you, huh? He pushed my wagon the other way, you rascal. Where is he? Did he run away? What a shame. Yeah, he saw you and decided to run away. He was scared of you. You're just so formidable. He was scared. Listen, my car doesn't go well. Let's go for a little walk and see if the other wagons are okay. Mm-hmm. 
I'm so sick of these dwarves. There's so many of them, and they're so annoying. I think so, too. They won't even offer us chocolate. What a bunch of jerks. I thought they'd be better. Yeah, I agree. They're weird. They've only been fighting us since we got into their factory. <laughs> Let's enjoy how beautiful it is. I think this place is divinely beautiful. I wonder how they built it so fast. So how much coffee do they drink? Can you imagine eating chocolate and coffee every day? They must be energy drinkers. It's probably hard to build that on a spur of the moment, too. Mikey, we're here already. Are you ready? I'm coming. I'm almost there. Wait for me. All right. Here I go. Is this their boss's office? It's so big. Maybe it's not for nothing that they say those who are higher up have better career advancement. Huh? Did you think you could catch us off guard? Of course not. JJ, I'm here. Go get him. We can beat him easy no matter how many there are. You think if there are so many of you, I'll be scared of you? Every one of you will die at my hands because I'm not worth it. You shouldn't joke with me because I'm very serious. If you think you can make fun of me like that, you're very wrong. However many of you there are, I'll kill every one of you.